Okay, in this uh, lesson, I'm going to talk about the least square solution, okay? All right, so sometimes um, if we have a system, like a, a matrix system, where we have AX equals to B, sometimes, you know, it may not po be possible to solve that, especially if the vector B, okay? So if the vector B is not in the column space of A, then there's no solution, okay? So what we have to do is we have to come up with a uh, an approximate solution, okay? Or sometimes find right. The, so in this case, the best we can do is to find an approximate solution for our system. Okay. So if we think about this, okay. So if we have the vector, let's say b. So if that, so that's what we see in the figure here. So if the vector v is not in the column space of a, then what we have to do, okay, is we have to project, okay. We have to project it onto onto the column space of A, okay. And by doing that, okay, by projecting the B onto the column space A, then therefore we can solve, okay. Then we can uh, find an X that satisfies this equation, okay. All right. So this is where the idea of the orthogonal decomposition comes into play, okay. So we want. So it turns out uh, that the orthogonal decomposition, okay, that is. The, when we project B onto the column space of A, that is the closest we can get to an approximate solution. Okay. All right. All right, and that's actually what's called the uh, the best approximation theorem. Okay. So we want to find. Okay. So the goal is that we want to find. A solution. Find an X. Okay. Call it x hot. That makes a times x vector a times the vector x as close as possible to b. As close as possible. Okay, to to B. Okay. So again, that's what if we look in this figure, okay. So if we take B and project onto the column space of A, okay, that will give us B hat. And therefore, because B hat, because we projected B onto the column space of A, therefore we can find a solution. Okay, we can find a solution X. Okay, so the difference, okay, so the difference is, this is the minimum, we want to minimize that difference, okay, we want the, the closest distance, and the distance here is the vector b, right, minus ax, okay, all right, so, okay, and just here, my notation should be careful here, this is ax hat, we want a, so we want to make ax hat, right, as close as possible to v. Okay. All right. So how we so okay. So we're starting off with the inconsistent system. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So again, we want to find right. So we want to find x. Okay. In the column space of A. Okay, such that AX hat is equal to B hat. Okay. And since B hat is in the column space of A, okay, when we project it, when we project the vector B, we get B hat. Okay, so it's got to be in the column space of A. Okay, and then Okay, then this system is consistent. OK, 
Okay. So the solution to this, to the solution to this, okay, is a least square solution to the original system. Okay. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Okay, so we need a way to find that. Okay, we need a way to come up with an approximate solution. Okay, so, so the question is how to get, how to solve for x hat. Okay, so we need to apply the orthogonal decomposition theorem. Okay, okay, so. So apply the orthogonal decomposition theorem. So we know that b, okay, b minus b hat okay, is orthogonal okay, to the column space of A. Okay. So that means, right, B, the vector B minus B hat is in the orthogonal complement of the column space of A. Okay. Okay, furthermore, okay, we know that, so we have B minus AX hat Okay, is orthogonal okay, to each column of A. Okay. All right, because B hat, B hat is equal to AX hat, okay? All right. So if, okay, so if, so if we let A of A sub J be a column, okay? So we let this denote a column in A. Okay, then, we can rewrite this as a j dotted with b minus a x hat. This has to be zero, okay? Because a, so a is a column right in, in the matrix a, okay? And b, remember that b minus a x hat. This is in the. Uh, this belongs to the orthogonal complement of A. Okay. Of the sorry of the column space of A. Okay. Alright, and this belongs to the uh, W, which is in this case the column space of A. Okay. So going back to the very first principle, okay, remember that W here, so W here is acting as the column space of A. And the orthogonal complement of W is just B, the vector B minus AX hat. Okay? So therefore this the dot product has to be equal to zero. Okay. Alright. So proceeding on, okay. So we can take this, okay. So from here, okay, we can work with this equation. This will give us a solution that we need, okay. All right. So a, so we have a vector, okay. So this is this represents a column vector. So then from there we can rewrite this as, we can take the transpose. That's going to give us a row vector times b minus a x. Okay. 
Okay, so right, this right, so this is a this becomes a row vector, okay. And this is this is a column vector, okay. All right, so this is going to give us a scalar value of zero, okay. So now a so a sub j transpose so then we can go back and think about the matrix a so each so remember each column in a was we took the transpose so if we do right so so basically that is going to give us a transpose back okay so remember you have a right and then you take the transpose of each of the columns that's going to give you a transpose so then this leads us to b minus a x hat Okay. So you're doing this for each right for each column, okay? And then taking the transpose. So then this goes back to the zero vector, okay? Okay. All right. So from here okay, we're going to uh, we can go ahead and rewrite this as a transpose b. So B is the vector here. So A transpose B minus A transpose times A times X hat. Okay. All right, so now we have, okay, so from here, okay, we can write this as A transpose times A X hat equals to a transpose B. Wow. Okay. Look at this now. A transpose A. Okay. Um, this is going to give us a, uh, a system, a consistent system. Okay. All right. So basically these, right, these are, these are called, the, these are basically uh, called the normal equations. Okay. So the way we solve this, okay, think about this, okay, A transpose A. So no matter what A is, okay, so if A was like, for example, 2 by 3, okay, then A transpose would be a 3 by 2, okay. Therefore, this will give you a square matrix, okay. All right. And not only that, okay. Because we we're projecting onto the column space of A, okay. So this A transpose A is going to give us a matrix, okay, that we can um, that we can um, we can find the uh, inverse of. So let's call this okay A transpose A. Let's call this uh, A. Let's see. Let's call this like A one. A transpose times B, okay, so you have A transpose, so remember A, uh, that's going to give us uh, some matrix, right, and then B is a vector, so when we multiply this, this is going to give us a vector, so let's call this B1, okay, all right, so let's call this B1, okay, so therefore, Right, we can solve this. We have a system here. Okay, so we can solve for x hat. So x hat turns out to be the least square solution. Okay. So it's a very nice application. Okay, we're going to do an example of this. In the in another video okay so these type of equations these normal equations come up not only in linear algebra but also in statistics so this is the real this is the heart of 
basically this is the idea or concept of why this least square solutions why they work okay it's all about project projections so you're taking so the whole the overview is that you're taking you have a system ax ax equals b okay remember this is right inconsistent because b is not in the column space of a okay so we we take b and project it we do a a projection onto the column space of A. Okay. All right. And so we're using the the best approximation theorem to do that. And then from there, okay, we uh, we formulate the normal equations, and then that will give us our approximation. Okay, which is x hat. Okay.